Hey friends, it's Cindy from DIY Beautify. I thought I would take you on a little tour of my kitchen and my dining room decorated for Christmas. I cleaned it up for a blog post coming up this week and figured now would be a good time to share. It smells so amazing in here. I'm burning this magnolia candle I got last year. I also have a candle over there it's uh, peppermint vanilla from my girlfriend Jen at 320 Sycamore Candles. All right, let's move into my dining room. This is where I have my blue um, and white Christmas tree that you may have already seen on my blog. I'm just going to do a little pan and then we'll go take a quicker look at the tree. I'm a huge fan of blue and white and I've collected a lot of vintage plates over the years. Everything on my table and that you see in my china cabinet is all thrifted. And I found myself thinking and dreaming of a blue and white Christmas tree. I bought this King of Christmas flocked tree last year and it was just begging for blue and white, I swear. My tree topper is actually a little wreath that I made. You can find it on my blog, it's called Farmhouse Wreath. And I found at Hobby Lobby these sprays of pearls that just popped. Okay, so the thing you need to know about these flocked trees is they're so full that you really cannot layer ornaments very much. You pretty much have all your ornaments hanging on the outside of the tree. I literally pulled all of the small blue and white dishes, serving ware, um, teacups out of my china cabinet as well as my collection of little ironstone pitchers all in white that I've been collecting for quite a few years and I have several of them. Some are vintage, some are antiques, and some are a little bit newer. So let's take a closer look at what I made for this tree. These little chippy spindles were from an old chair that I had cut them off and I share a chippy technique on the blog that honestly, you guys, these look authentic. I'm not sure what even to call these. They're almost like, like you see, I have an oval one. They're like a little door knocker thing, but I bought the rounds at Walmart, did my chippy paint technique. The other thing I did for this tree is I made my own ornaments. From Sharpies. I bought white ornament balls and I used blue Sharpies to embellish them. And I know it looks super complicated. It looks complicated, but it's way easier than it sounds. It's literally drawing swirls and dots on an ornament and it goes fast because the Sharpie dries quickly, almost on contact.